Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to add the custom validations to the Ajax form in a Drupal 9. Before jumping to this video, if you are new and you have not watched these two videos, please go through it so that you will get the better idea. First video is the how to create the Ajax form in a Drupal and second is the how to add the JS and CSS to the custom form in a Drupal. This is the Ajax form which was created in this video. I will add these videos links in the description as well. Or you can check those videos by clicking on this suggestion now to show the message on the form first we need to add the div just below this text fields for that we will go to our form this is the form in the form i have included these classes ajax response html command invoke command and database which is used to save the data into the table so first we will add the div just below the first name field for that we will write the suffix div class equal to error we will add one id id equal to emp first name now I will close this div. Same way I will attach this div to the other fields as well. Next is the last name field. I will just change the id of that field to the emp last name. Next is the email id field. Change the id to the email. And the last field is the zip code. I will change id to the emp zip. Save it. Now go to the form. Refresh the form. And check by inspecting if those divs are attached or not so here we can see the div is added just below the first name field now the next step is add the color to that div so for that just go to the employee.css and for the error class we will change the font color to the red so if we add any text in that it will change to the red save this next step is go to the employee ajax form and inside this callback function so on the click of the save button we call this this callback function submit data and in the submit data we have captured these fields and pass this data to the database now before submitting this data to the database we will add the validations for that first we will create the one flag variable with the value equal to true in the if condition check if the first name field is empty or that we will write trim first name if it is empty in that case we will return one error message using the ajax response return dollar ajax response this is the object of the ajax response class next is the add command new html command so we want to show the message inside that div that's why we are using the html command and in the in this we need to mention the id of the first name field the id of the error div is the emp underscore first name we'll copy this we'll mention that id here after that we need to mention the message i so will write the message we will show the message like please enter the first name and uh, change the value of flag variable to the false same way I will add these validations to the other fields for that I have copied the code and paste just change the fields name so last name field is a amp underscore last name and id of error div is emp underscore last name change the id to emp underscore last name and change the message to the please enter the last name next field is the email id so right now we are just checking the basic like if that field is the 
empty or not you can add the other validations as well by writing the if else conditions like if the email id is valid or not and our div error id is also emp underscore email you just change that to the emp underscore email and change the message to the please enter the email and last field is the employee zip code so it's a the field name is amp zip code and the id of the div is amp underscore zip change the message to the please enter the zip code now if all fields are validated after that we will write one condition in that we will check if the flag variables value is true then only it should insert the data into the db otherwise it will show the error messages on the form after submitting the form we again need to clear the fields value the code to clear the input fields is like ajax response add command new invoke command inside that we need to mention the id of the input field so our first name field id is amp first name and uh, next is the attribute we need to clear the value for that we will add the value and after that set the value as a empty in this way i will clear the values of other fields as well for that i will just copy and paste and change the id to the last name for the last name field next is the email or uh, email fields id is edit emp email and last is the zip code and zip code fields id is edit emp zip code now save the code and uh, clear the cache for that i will write the command rush command rush cr the cache is cleared successfully now go to the form refresh the form first we will check if the validations are added or not for that i will click on the save button so now we are getting the error message like please enter the first name now i will check for the last name as well for the last name field also we are getting the error message to so enter the last name now the issue is even after adding the correct value still we are able to see this error message so for that we will write the one js code whenever i click on this input field after that this message should get removed so for that go to our js file employee.js and inside the document.trady i will write the one js script for that so we need to add the event for the input field we will write the input dot on so on focus of that input field we need to remove or hide that message function dollar this dot parent dot next our div class name is dot error we want to remove the error message from that div so we will write the text equal to blank again save these changes and clear the cache cache is clear now again go to the form and refresh i will click on the submit button so that it will show the error message now again i click in this input field so that the error message is now get removed and some value in the first name I will add the value in the last name i will add the, the email id and the employee zip code click on this save after saving this value the input fields are blank now and we have shown this error message from this line 
in the employee ajax form the form is submitted successfully and we have cleared the text fields values that's it from this video i hope you like the video please subscribe the channel so that you will get notified whenever i upload the new content related to the drupal thank you for watching